it's Matthew from Crow Bros Bodybuilding. Getting ready to go to do arms, calves, and abs today. And as you see this pre-workout, I don't take any supplements for pre-workout because I don't need it. But I'm just going to eat uh, just a baked potato with some dressing and some cheese just to get some carbs in and get ready for the workout. That's all I need. So see you at the gym. Alright, so we uh, started our bicep workout like every other workout with, uh, I believe, three sets of these cable straight bar curls. Got anything to add, Doug? Uh, well, this is just a warm-up set, so it's pretty light just to get blood to the muscle. And it's basically a straight bar curl with... Um, with cable so it's a lot smoother and it just it feels really you it definitely gets them burning and gets blood to the muscle to start out your long workout yes of course and <laughs> and also there's obviously no momentum we're not even using a heavy weight but there's just absolutely no momentum used in this exercise which is okay for later but i'd say for a warm-up just stick with trying to isolate the muscle <laughs> It was really good today, too, because there was really nobody at the gym, so it's a lot nicer to be able to record. But a lot of days, you go in there, and there's seriously so many people, and it feels so stupid, you know, bringing out the camera, and you, it's like people look at you like you have some big weight, but we're really just trying to capture all this footage for you guys. Yep. <laughs> and uh, here you can see we moved on to spider curls. No. <laughs> Doug just fluffed a little. <laughs> but <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I can't smell it yet. Anyway, these spider. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> wow. If you could smell this. We moved on these spider curls. It's just a reverse preacher curl. And you can see, look at Doug trying to go. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. And you, even when he gets tired, may, I think he lifts his feet up here. But, I mean, it feels really good, but just, yeah, <laughs> it looks hilarious. Yeah, that was extremely awkward because since I'm I'm about 6'1", six, 6'2", six, so, I mean, taller for somebody that's bodybuilding. And, I mean, I mean, come on, this thing was just ridiculous. And my feet, like, I can't even, I can't even sit there, and it was so uncomfortable, so I ended up just, once my arms are burning, I'm not even thinking about anything, so I'm just lifting my feet in the air, flailing around. I don't even care at this point. One thing I hate about this is that, see, you're pulling your chest in there, and the pressure, I mean, it's pushing so hard on your chest, you it's hard to get air into your lungs, and it's just, it hurts, actually. Anyway, we did three sets of those spider curls, then we turned it around and finished with two sets of just regular preacher curls with, what is this, like, 60 pounds, I guess? Nothing much, but just to, you know, the bodybuilding stuff. Nothing too heavy, but again, I mean, with it being so strict of a movement, it's really hard to use a lot of weight, and you really don't need a lot of weight, because if you're squeezing at the top, and you don't have any rest period, and as you also see, we went down all the way in the movement, and we got the tie-in of our bicep to our elbow, and that's really important, because you see a lot of people stop before they hit the bottom, and you need to do that for maximum development. All right, here, I believe, we went on to use just regular standing barbell curls, but we used a fat bar because at this point, our forearms were getting in really tired and pumped, and we're like, man, I kind of work, work forearms. So we used the fat bar for this, which just works more on the grip, and man, it burns the forearms, and it's just, it's tougher on your grip. I guess we're improving our grip, which is something that we want to do this off season. Because, guys, remember, not only... When you see people normally you're wearing a t-shirt and all they see is your forearms. But on top of that is that you're going to look stupid if you use like straps all the time. And you have big arms and then these little forearms that don't match up to it. Like big forearms really do look awesome even though we don't have that big of forearms yet. That's why we're working on them. And with using straps all the time, that's just plain annoying to put them on. Especially, like I guess the Versa grips we have are pretty easy to put on. But I know the regular... Uh, like the regular straps that you'd see other people using is really annoying to put on. Here I turn around for uh, both sides for these standing uh, dumbbell alternating curls. Again, lightweight, but 
it's actually getting pretty far into our workout. I don't even notice it because time flies by when you're working out here. And also remember, before our first three, if you want to count the warm-up exercise, our first three exercises, all of them are straight bar or easy curl bar, and there's not much twisting. But you got to remember to hit your full bicep, you need to soufflate your wrist, which means turn it inward and then back out into the hammer position as you see in these standing dumbbell curls. And that is for maximum growth and development of your bicep and it will completely hit every head of your bicep. Well, I mean, there's still the brachialis, but it completely hits the head that you're trying to, the, the two that you're trying to hit. Yep, and you, obviously you can't soufflate your wrists, you can't turn them with, let's say, a barbell. That's why we use the dumbbells. So just make sure that you incorporate that in your workouts as well. And this is really a high volume workout, but it's definitely worth giving a try if you guys are, I'd say, intermediate bodybuilders and you're not just completely new to this and you have the time because we got to pick a day where we're not working and school. Luckily, it's summer now, but I mean, usually we just don't even have the time of the day because it takes a couple hours. Yeah. Here we're finishing off. I'll work out with those rope cable um, hammer curls. And then this nice thing, we did uh, drop sets, finishing the last two sets with, here's changing the weight, <laughs> got to make it a little lighter, with these, I guess, single arm hammer cable curls. But it's using no handle, just the little ball on the end of the cable. And there you can self-spot as well. And just finishing on that brachialis, the overall just hitting every head of the bicep and along with the brachialis just feels good yeah definitely and it was really at this point i mean it's to the point where my arms are so burnt out i can't even hardly feel it anymore like it is oh it's awful but with this self spot it definitely it gets every last fiber <laughs> yeah by this point you can barely even feel yourself stretching and squeezing you're just so tired all right so that was our bi bicep workout and we did abs with that as well i don't want to hold you too long so I'll just leave you with, um, hope you guys learn something from the video. So you can try that routine out and comment below, tell us what you think. Or even if you don't want to try it out, just tell us what you think of our routine, if we did too much or not enough, or if you would change something up. Anyway, but, hope you like the video. Oh, hold on, I still have something. Uh, I was gonna say, like, we really would like some feedback we don't get too much so we don't know what to put on the channel we just have random workouts so basically your feedback would be much appreciated and you'll be able to see what you want to see yeah if you guys have a video request request or you want to see something let us know and we can probably make it happen so definitely comment below and tell us what's on your mind yep or just shoot us a message yeah you so, can also catch us on the facebook page yep make sure to check that out we're gonna have a lot of uh, pictures from this workout we took a lot more pictures and documented this workout more than normal and be on the lookout for kind of a compilation of the bicep workout almost like a motivational video we got a lot of good footage so anyway I said I didn't want to hold you long but here I go uh, hope you guys like the video speaking of that you can like this video you can throw down a comment and even subscribe so remember there's always more on the way so stay tuned